Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new horror anthology, Lore. And this film, clocking in at just an hour and 25 minutes, put together by directors James Bush, Patrick Michael Ryder, Greg Johnson, and this film focuses on the... You have the frame narrative of a group of four friends who go on this ghostly trip out into the woods, this excursion where they hire a guide, Darwin, played by Richard Brake, who plays this deliciously, mysteriously, and tinges of evil. And he makes them each tell the scariest story they've ever heard, and that is the framework, this campfire story, to get each of these four individual stories. And I think that framing device is simple, but very effective. And it allows for each of these stories have very different types of horror. You have the psychological horror. You have the supernatural horror. You have bits of body horror. You have a slasher film. It's an interesting way of going through and experiencing each of these different kinds of stories and different approaches. And to be honest, I don't think they're all equally as great, but they're all equally good. They each are very effective, especially for films that have very small budgets. Like, you can tell these have very small budgets, but they each are so effective in the way that they tell their stories and deliver something frightening and unnerving. There's full car, slasher, and like I mentioned, I forgot to mention the full car is like the fourth story. You have these different stories where there's some really great choices of costuming, of makeup, and practical effects to bring, you know, a possessive demon, a masked slasher, a ghost, and a cultist group of people bring them to life in these stories, and I think, honestly, the performances are pretty good and pretty solid. They have, especially in, like, the slasher one, there's some crazy kills that go on. In the folk horror one, it has such a really well-realized and unnerving, like, cultish feel. The one with the ghost has some legitimate scares that really work in terms of you know, setting things up and using the background and having those creepy scares and a shadow of figure something in the background that the more psychological, possessive kind of horror really leveraging the mystery of what's really going on here to build tension. Each of these stories are very effective in their own ways. They all come together and are collected in a fun way. This campfire story way of having these four friends even like give bantering back and forth in between stories is fun. And also has some fun twists to it when it all comes back together in the end. This is a really effective and fun little horror anthology that will probably go under the radar, but hopefully, if you're a big horror fan, this one's definitely worth some good scares and some fun times and probably the one that stuck out to me is probably the slasher in a movie theater probably the most but each of them have their own merits and none of them are going to be the kind where i'm like oh i'm going to skip this one this time each of the four are very effective in what they're trying to do and what they're trying to portray but those are my thoughts on lore let me know what you think let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your wasteland reviewer